California couple's dream vacation to New York City will be a trip to remember, but for all the wrong reasons. Reporter Sifon Kim shows you why. We're expecting a vacation to remember the rest of our lives. And, and we will definitely remember it for the rest of our life, but it won't be a pleasant memory. For Elgin Oslin and his girlfriend, it was supposed to be a dream vacation. But after staying in a hotel room infested with bed bugs, their dream vacation turned into a nightmare. Look at these. I'm touching them with a pen. This is video Oslin says he shot while staying at the Astro on the Park Hotel on Central Park West. They arrived on Wednesday and by Thursday. An infestation where my girlfriend slept last night. I can't believe it. This is the third room we've been in after two without heaters. They're everywhere on the bed. The California man says they had planned to be in Times Square to see the ball drop. That never happened. And on his birthday, New Year's Day, they had tickets to see the Rockettes. Instead, on my birthday, I'm in a hospital and I'm washing the best clothes that I brought that I own for this vacation. And actually, during that process, many of her clothes became damaged because they're not meant to be dried. Hundreds of dollars to have their belongings cleaned. Meanwhile, Oslin says his girlfriend's body is still inflamed and is furious and worried the bites and scratches may leave permanent scarring. And she can't eat because she's nauseous and she's not the only one. We showed this video to neighbors and hotel guests, and the reaction was pretty much what you'd expect. It was disgusting. <laughs> I don't really feel like sleeping here. Never going to see her again. Katie Phillips, though, from Australia, has been staying here for a week and says her stay has been near perfect. A clean room with no complaints, but after seeing this... Well, it's pretty disturbing, that's for sure. Like, if we'd seen that a couple of days ago, we certainly would have checked and possibly checked out and gone and stayed somewhere else. Well, that was Sifon Kim reporting.